are going to look at lightning protection. I have the training assembly open, and I'm going to switch over to my level of detail showing the lightning assembly. So I have a separate protection assembly. I'm going to open that. I've already pre-placed some lightning masts. These masts are all located based on the training skeleton and the location to the work planes. Before we do anything, we need to look at the settings for the above grade tools, and we'll look at what cables we have. So we are going to place 500 MCM cable. We have a sag of uh, 5%. We are going to take the defaults here for the cone, inner, inner and outer angle. We're going to take the strike radius, it's default 150, and that might be high for some people, and we're going to save that. Now we can place masts simply by picking the tool and adding it in. I don't need to place a mast, so I'm going to remove what I placed, but it's simple as that. If you want to edit the mast and what it looks like, you would go into the database and edit that mast. What we would need to do is um, add some shield wire. So I've already added some shield wire in other wire. And what we're going to do is add two-point shield wire. Now, we've already selected the type of wire based on our settings. So I'm going to pick this point. We only can pick two points because there's a tension on that, this wire. And we're going to pick this point here. And that brings us in. So we have our shield wire placed. What else we need to do is uh, make it look nice. And we will add a cable. Pick points to add cable. We're going to pick points here and add a cable here. Don't need that. Okay, so we've added our stuff is here as well. So now I've got this cable. And I'm just going to check my settings, and I may edit my shield wire. So I can take my edit shield wire, highlight it, and I can change it to a different type if I wanted to. I can change the sag percentage. I have my cable weight identified from my database, and I'm going to apply it and say done. So now that I got my shield wire, I've got my um, masts. I'm pretty well ready to set things up, so I should update and save. Now, what we also need to do is select the mast, if we're going to just look at mast or select top points. And what this does is, is tell the software where our main points are for the lightning top points. So if I sh show that, you can see slightly, let's zoom in a bit, you can see what I have selected. So I had, I have already selected the top, select top points. And these are the top points of the masts. I could select the masts themselves, but since I'm using shield wire, I'm just going to pick the top points. So now I'm in here, and now I can create my rolling sphere. The rolling sphere has finished, and we can see what we have here. We can see the points that we've that we've worked out along the wire, and that's all from the settings and how we picked the lightning protection. We can see we have a part here. We can see the part is created, and we have it all attached. So we'll save it. We'll go back to the general arrangement assembly, and we'll look at what we have poured out of here. So we can see the shelter isn't covered, 
and we can see our arrangement there. And we'll go back into the lightning protection assembly and we'll delete that protection item. What we want to do now is run the cone. So let's create a cone. And this may take a minute as well. The cone is finished and we can see it's another part that's been added. And we can see how our cable is brought in here, and such as that. If we open up the general assembly, general arrangement, we can see again that our shelter isn't covered. So what we would need to do, of course, is adjust our shielding. 